So after a game like that, it seems like maybe having to play again here today wasn't that bad of a deal. You know, our, our guys, um, they stayed locked in through everything, and they came out, uh, came out swinging the bats, obviously. It was... Um, it was a good day. It was a good day. It was, you know, the situation yesterday going into today was obviously a little odd, and, and you know, they had to deal with some things, and we had to deal with some things, but um, I'm proud of the way our guys uh, did it today. More history of this season. You guys are only the second team in history to have an eight home run game twice in a season. Do you find yourself, are there moments in the, in the dugout where you're even in awe of what this team's been able to do? Well, I mean, while we're out there, you know, we don't, we don't spend a ton of time like looking at you know grand scheme and things like that. We're locked in on the game and everything going on. I think as I sit here right now, it's um, you know I think it's easy to say that it's it's pretty amazing. I mean you know you don't see that in baseball uh, very often. I know I know I haven't had seen anything like it. But um, our guys just they continually go up there and you know they don't give it bats away. They just keep uh, keep going at it. And um, again, good day. And not only did they obviously pressure Matt Harvey and take him out of the game early, but they kept that pressure on, they kept the intensity and added to it. How valuable is that when these guys don't, you know, just take it easy once they get an eight-run lead? Yeah, it's it's easy to uh, to lose focus and to not, um, you know, be on the ball when, when you go out there and swing the bats the way we did early on. But, um, you know, I didn't feel that at all. Um, I've seen that in the past. I haven't, I, I have not seen that here. Um, the guys continue on with, uh, you know, a, relentless approach at the plate and um, you know that's that's the way we uh, we want it and that's what we want to see. What's it about you guys in makeup games with the homers because it wasn't the Baltimore one a makeup game too? Yeah. Mm -hmm. It's an interesting point I did <laughs> I, I did I honestly uh, would guy. never never have never have thought that but I mean it's it's easy when uh, you know when you when you have an off day and then it disappears and you know you're still on the road, it's um, you know I guess it's easy, like I said, to to lose that that edge or that focus that you need to have when you go out there and compete at this level. And uh, our guys have not have not lost that at any point, regardless of the uh, the circumstances. Not miffed or frustrated and want to take it out on the other team. Or I, I, you know what? I have no idea. All I know is that our guys they show up ready to play. The Power has obviously always been there for Miguel. How impressed were you um, with the quality of his first few at bats today? Yeah, he laid off some uh, some tough pitches, and you know, like like everyone else, the the op, you know, the opposing pitcher and team, they have a plan for every guy, you know, when they come to the plate, and when you when you lay off difficult pitches like that, tough pitches um, that they're of course hoping that you know we offer at. Um, when you lay off those pitches, then you have to find other ways to get guys out. And when Miguel does that, and you're forced to come in the zone um, and give him something that he can, uh, you know, not just handle but do damage on, um, you know, then you know you're kind of going away from what you want to do. But I think a lot of it comes down to the quality of of you know the uh, the at bats on a pitch by pitch basis that he had tonight. I think it it really uh, it was shining through. I mean, all the home runs uh, is was. Rosie's maybe uh, one of the better ones for you to see. It's been kind of a while for uh, for him. You kind of lose track of all the home runs on this team. He hasn't had a lot of home. You know what? Um, of course, it's nice to see Rosie, uh, you know, square that ball up and uh, you know, hit it over the fence. But um, Rosie's been good. Rosie's continued to to compete at the plate. And sometimes you go through spells where you're not gonna, you know, he hit a bunch of home runs, and then you're gonna go through spells where you don't. Um, we've already seen his uh, his season kind of. You know, come in different segments, um, and you know what he's doing right now looks good to me. So I, if he just carries on with what he's doing, I think he's going to be okay. But he's a guy that's he's going to hit doubles, he's going to hit home runs. Um, he's an aggressive uh, guy at the plate, and um, with that comes uh, a lot of good. So I think um, I think I think he looks good at the plate right now. But it was it was nice to see.